Moscow warns against underestimating the risk of nuclear war. Even though Russia's top diplomat cautioned against sparking a third world war and that a nuclear confrontation should not be underestimated, the country launched a series of assaults on rail and fuel facilities deep within Ukraine on Monday. US, on the other hand, said that Western allies' help in the two-month-old war is making a big difference. The US moved quickly to get more weapons to Ukraine. According to US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, the United States wants Ukraine to remain an independent and democratic nation, but it also wants Russia weakened to the point that it can't do things like invade Ukraine. There seemed to be a change in US strategic intentions after Austin's statements about Russia's decline. Before, the US stance was that the purpose of American military aid was to support Ukrainian victory and protect NATO allies in Ukraine from Russian aggression. According to Russia's foreign minister, arms provided by Western nations are a legitimate target, and Russian troops have already struck weapons depots in Western Ukraine. NATO soldiers are putting fuel on the flames by supplying weaponry. During Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February 24, it was clear that the capital, Kyiv, was its primary objective. However, the Ukrainians were able to block the Russians' advance with the assistance of Western armaments and forced him to flee. The Donbas, a mostly Russian-speaking industrial area in eastern Ukraine, is now Moscow's declared target. There have been no notable advances in Russia's assault in the east, despite both sides declaring it to be underway. Russian jets and missiles launched strikes far from the front lines on Monday in an attempt to hamper Ukrainian efforts to gather supplies for the battle. They were successful. According to Ukraine's official railway chief Oleksandr Kamyshin, five stations in the country's center and western regions were damaged and one employee was murdered. An assault on Lviv, a city in western Ukraine near the Polish border, was also launched. Russian attacks killed at least five individuals in central Vintsia, Ukraine reported. According to Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson Major General Igor Konashenkov, Russia also attacked an oil refinery and gasoline stockpiles in Kremenchuk, central Ukraine. At least 56 Ukrainian targets were taken down by Russian jets throughout the course of the night, according to the Russian general.